and welcome back to another Elden Ring build video. Today we're going to be fixing the all-around new best magic build that breaks 1.09.1 by Casual GG. This particular channel is brought to my attention by one of my Discord members for the sole reason that all of his builds seem to be allergic to vigor. Obviously, you need vigor for survivability. If you don't have survivability, you're probably going to end up dead then. And if you're dead, you can't do damage, especially on New Game 7. This is a quick view of all the weapons, armor, and items used for this build. We put two more points in mind, two more points in endurance, and one more point in intelligence. Now obviously his main problem with the build is vigor, as I've already mentioned. However, he has an odd amount of mind, an odd amount of intelligence to use weapons that honestly aren't that good. If you're going to use a weapon, you have Clayman's Harpoon, or you have the Wing of Estelle. There's no reason to really invest into anything else besides that. He does have 20 Strength for the Jellyfish Shield, which is the best way, if you're really going to spec into something like Comet or Slicer, is the best way to use it. Do you need to use it though? Probably not. And then another thing, he just doesn't have a lot of poise or damage negation. Which is really important in New Game 7 since the bosses do so much damage. For my improved build, of course, 60 Vigor, because that's the Vigor soft cap. 40 Mind. Mind isn't really relevant, it's just a dump stat in this build. There's no reason to invest into any other stats. Unless if you wanted to get strength up to 20 for the Jellyfish Shield. If we have 15 Endurance, again, that's another dump stat. Not needed whatsoever, but... What else are you going to invest into? We have 17 dexterity. That is so you can use the wing of Astel if you wanted to. But as you can see, I'm only using the staff of loss because I feel like any melee weapon is just going to be a downgrade from Night Comet, Carrion Slicer, or Comet Azure. And then for the magic casting, we have 80 intelligence because that is the intelligence soft cap. And that's going to make us do the most damage with our spells without getting into severe diminishing returns. And we have 33 faith to cast Howlow Shabriri to buff our magic damage even further. And for our spells, we have Golden Vow, Howlow Shabriri, Terra Magica buffing our damage, Ronnie's Dark Moon providing a debuff for both frost and magic damage, Night Comet is going to be our main damage source, however we do have Carry and Slicer for faster enemies, and if we wanted to use the Stat Staff and the Jellyfish Shield. And then we have Common Azure for bosses that are very slow. I did end up using this for the Morgoth fight, as he ended up just standing at the entrance and not coming towards me a lot. For the armor, we have Queen's Crescent Crown, boosting our intelligence. The fingerprint armor altered, the gold bracelets, and the tree sentinel's greaves to give us the 51 poise breakpoint. And for the talismans, we have the Godfrey icon, which is giving a boost to charged spells. The magic scorpion charm, just boosts our magic overall for a slight damage negation decrease. The ritual sword talisman, boosting our, our damage when we are at full HP. And the raven mask talisman, boosting our sorcery damage. For the Great Rune, we have the Gajic's Great Rune because without it, we are a little strapped for stats on this build. Not majorly in any particular way, but Gajic's Great Rune just gives us that little bit of wiggle room that is very good to have. And for the Crystal Tier, we have Applying Hard Tier, increasing our damage negation, which will increase our survivability. And the Magic Shrouding Crack Tier, giving us a lot more damage. Now. The main difference between my build and his build, it's not really a damage difference, although it is going to do a little bit more damage, it is the survivability. I have a lot more damage negation and a lot more health than he does, meaning that in New Game 7 you can take one or two more hits from bosses, which could be the difference between getting a heal off and killing the boss or just dying and having to restart.